Hello, learners. Once again, you are welcome to Joy Learning Basic Classroom. Our lesson for today is computing, and the class is Basic 6. The topic is MS Windows Interface. MS Windows Interface. Remember also to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Joy Learning TV for more videos of the lessons. Now, we want to begin with our starter and we have some questions for you to do. The first one, which of the following icons is a default desktop icon? In our previous week, we learned about default icons. So we want you to select default icons on the options we have provided. So we have A, then we have B, we have C, we have D. So which of these is a default icon? I hope you've selected your answer. So let's look at the correct answer here. So that is C. And that icon represents my network places, which is a default icon. Let's move on to the next one. Which of the following icons represent an operating system? Operating system. In our previous week, we learned OS and then application software. So which of them represents an operating system? We have A, we have B, we have C, and then D. answer so the answer is d windows microsoft windows is an operating system icon good we have another exercise which of the following is a software component which of the following is a software component we have a we have b we have c then we have D. So select the one that is a software component. Hope you are done. So the answer is C, which is Microsoft Word. And the rest are all hardware components. Very good. So thumbs up for getting all your answers correct. We want to move on to our lesson for today. So for our objectives, by the end of the lesson, the learners will be able to one, move folders or files using desktop pop-up menu. Then two, delete folders and files. Then three, launch file explorer window to locate hard drives and other removable storage icons. So these are the things we are going to look at today. We have moving folders or files using desktop pop-up menu. So let's look at that. So in order for you to move your files or folders using the desktop pop-up menu the first thing you do you right click on the target folder or file on your desktop so right click on that when you right click now this is our target folder the name is practice so you are going to right click on this folder when you right click there will be a pop-up menu so from this pop-up menu, this is what you do. You select copy. And this copy, so select copy from this pop-up menu. After that, locate a free space on the desktop and right-click. So a place that you have no icons on the desktop. 
then you right click so let's look at it here now we have on my left side we have other icons on the desktop which is displayed on the screen so there's not a free space for me but when i go to my right side i have a free space there so i right click there then when you right click you open a pop-up menu so there's a pop-up menu now from the pop-up menu you select paste from the pop-up menu so this paste you select paste and once you select paste your icon or the folder you selected will be pasted so we right click on practice and now we're having practice copy so it means that copy will give us a duplicate of the file or the folder so now you're having a duplicate of the folder here, which is practice copy. So this is how we move icon or file from one location to another location using a desktop pop-up menu. And this one, we use the copy and paste method. The copy and paste method. All right, so let's look at the next one. We are going to delete folders and fast you're going to look at how to delete folders and files this is also a way of moving folders or files so we also right click on the target folder or file so let's see the target folder so practice is still our target folder so this is the folder we are going to right click on when you right click on this folder it will open or it will give you the pop-up menu or context menu either you see a pop-up menu or context menu so from this pop-up menu or the context menu then you select delete so let's see our delete this is delete so you select delete from here the moment you select delete now in some computers you have a confirmation message like this are you sure you want to move this folder to the recycle bin? If you are sure, then you select yes. So now I want to move it. So you want to select yes. So you select yes, and your folder will be moved to the recycle bin. So we're having two folders for practice here. Now we only see practice copy, meaning the other practice is moved to the recycle bin. So this is how we move a folder that is through the method of deletion if you want to move a folder you can delete it and it will be moved or you can use the copy and paste method so the next activity we are going to look at we are going to look at how to display or launch our far explorer window far explorer window Now to launch File Explorer, you can locate its icon on the taskbar and then click on it. So on the taskbar, there's a taskbar on the screen. Normally, the File Explorer window is a yellow icon, which is a folder on the taskbar. So the moment you click on this yellow icon, it's going to launch your File Explorer. You can also right click the start button i hope now you know the start button good so you right click the start button then when you right click on the start button you are going to have some options from the options you select file explorer then you launch it so let's look at the options when you right click on the start button so anytime you right click on the start button we have these options that will pop up you locate your file explorer this is our file explorer so you click and then it's going to launch or open so this is how we launch our file explorer window now this file explorer window you are seeing is for windows xp windows xp this is for windows xp so let's look at some of the features here we have menu bar where we have the file edit view favorite tools and help then you also have toolbar 
We also have the address bar. We also have the left pane. So the left pane, we see other locations, other folders. Then we have the title bar also here. We have here to be the right pane. And then we have the status bar. So this Windows is representing Windows XP File Explorer. Let's look at another File Explorer for Windows 7. So this is for Windows 7. Windows 7 File Explorer. So if you are using Windows 7 and you launch your File Explorer, this is what you are going to see. So we have the back or forward buttons. We have the toolbar also located here. We have our address bar also located here. Then we have our search box. The search box is also located here. We have the minimize, maximize, close buttons also at this place. Then we have our navigation pane also here. Then scroll bar. We have the scroll bar here. And we have files or folder list. So all these are list of files and folders that we have here. Then we have details pane. So this is the Windows XP File Explorer. When you open it, this what you are going to see. We also have another one for Windows 10. If you are using Windows 10 OS and you launch your File Explorer, this is what you are also going to see. So for Windows 10, we have the two bar, which is located here. We also have tabs. So for the tabs, we have the file, home, share, view, and then manage. So all these are tabs. We also have address bar, where we have libraries or documents. So this is the address bar. We have the back, forward, and then up buttons. And that one is also here. We have the navigation pane. So from here to this side is the navigation pane where we can move to get our locations. We have the status bar showing information about the current location or file that you have opened. We also have our search box. So the search box is also here. If you want to search for any information or file, we type it here. Then we have list or the folder list. So anytime you also click on a folder, we have folders here that you can go through to select. That is the folder list. So this is what we call Windows 10 File Explorer. Windows 10 File Explorer. We are going to delve more into this in our next lesson where we'll be able to look at the features and how to use most of the features. So for now, we are going to look at our reflection, meaning our lesson, we are bringing it to an end. Today, we've discussed about one, how to move folders or files using desktop pop-up menu. Then two, how to delete folders and files. And then three, how to launch File Explorer window to locate hard drives and other removable storage icons. So these are the activities we have done today. We want to look at our assessment task. So for our assessment task for today, outline the steps to move a file on the Windows desktop to a different location on the desktop using copy and paste. So you have to use copy and paste to move a file or folder to a different location on the desktop. Remember to send your answer to us through our email joylearningtv at myjoyonline.com joylearningtv at myjoyonline.com Then you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel Joy Learning TV for videos of these lessons. Peter Samoa is my name and I've been your facilitator for 
basic says computing lesson. Goodbye.